Hello and welcome to the video. This is going to be me playing a ranked game after many, many years of not playing Rainbow Six Siege. I haven't played since 2018 in the Chimera update, and I decided to make a return after watching content creators like Jinxie, who piqued my interest into the game once again. Now, things have changed a lot, so this video is just going to be talking about my mindset coming back to the game and how I was able to perform well in this ranked game. Let's get into it. I know from watching other content creators that these are some of the most popular bands right now. I rarely see a character like Fenrir and Jackal get through, where I feel like Dokubai and Clash were probably the toss-up characters of our bands. Today we're going to be playing on Skyscraper, and I'm going to be playing the character Goyo. After playing some Rainbow Six Siege with friends, I realized that I really like this character. Not only for its very useful gadget that lets you stall time, but also for the vector, which I can also now put an ACOG on. So, I looked up some popular spots to toss down one of these Goyo traps, and I sort of set them up before the round to make sure my team could be ready to stall some time. Now that the setup was complete, I wanted to hang out somewhere near the objective and be able to listen for some sound cues. That's our clone. We were in a three versus three situation, so I decided to do something which I would call a bad play and to make a little head hole here to see the hallway and potentially be able to get a pick for the team. But things are quickly turning sour as a 3 versus 3 turns into a 2 versus 3, which turns into a 1 versus 3 with a plant down. We hear the call hard right, so I'm going to check that hard right, and I don't see anything, but I do hear one player on site, so I'm going to turn my full attention to site. I hear the Ayana begin to clone, so I think I can move in and potentially get a pick, but the Buck was watching their teammate accordingly, and we end off 0-1 in the first round. Starting the second round, I decide to change things up. I want to place Capcan so that I can be useful even if I end up getting picked off early. Being able to have Capcan traps not only can do pretty solid damage, but can give you good info as well. Now, I do like to stab Capcan traps like you're seeing right now so that it'll instantly knock someone. I'm trying to put it on the doorways that I feel like no one would look at instead of the popular side of the doorway is the Serat. And I'm going to place these three Capcan traps to stall some extra time. We also have a Goyo, so I know that Goyo's traps are going to be slowing people down as well. The barricade to my left has now been broken, and I hear a ram. Now, I don't really know how to break that just yet. Still learning. I decide to watch the hallway in case they decide to push in. I do hear them droning to the left, but I know that this is an angle to the far window, so I'm going to be staring at the far window, knowing that my teammate is watching my back. I'm going to throw a preemptive C4, and I do get one player that hops in. Peek the window because I hear more footsteps, and take a headshot. There's two on this Someone exposed you. I thought I stood still in time for that lion, but obviously I did not, and got exposed, but I just kept my cool, and I'm playing an angle. Got shot at from behind, somehow did not die. That player absolutely should have killed me. So now that I know one is on that far window, potentially just died to my lesion, and we have several other players watching. One player just found the stairs, and that is going to be the last player in the game. So I'm going to go watch the stairs and see if I can find this player for the team. But no, they take out a player, so I'm just going to hard watch these stairs for the rest of the round. Another teammate dies next to me, and I start to get worried as we are now in a 1 versus 2 situation after a third death. We cannot let this player 1v5 ace us and pull up a second round on attack. I'm going to watch a hard angle on the stairs and listen for sound cues. I hear the player in front of me. So I'm going to take the shot here in a second. 
catch the player going across. We win the round. The score is now one to one. And I type in chat that our teammates almost tried to sell, which is what I felt like happened. While I'm setting up my frost mats, why don't you guys think about subscribing and liking the video? I'd really appreciate it. Now I'm trying to find some dubious spots to place down some mats right now, and I think that is a good initial spot as players frequently try to rush in there. I thought about putting it on the barricade, but that's kind of a stupid spot. I think they're the most valuable under windows and in very tricky spots where players would turn fast corners and potentially run into them. I have no idea what I'm doing right there. I find another good window to be able to put a trap under. And right now I'm currently trying to figure out a location that I want to end up setting up. I'm going to use my last bat and hope that a person is going to try to play fast up those stairs. Oh, I understand now. I'm going to be doing the barricade strap. I'm going to pop up a little deployable shield and set it up behind. A nice way to make a player have to aim downwards and break your map before taking a fight. Our team gets first pick. I'm going to make some head-sized holes to be able to play and get some extra information. And then I'm going to start listening for sound cues and trying to figure out what sort of location I want to play in. Now I heard this barricade go down. I see a drone deciding if I want to try to do a little run out. I see the Ayana clone and I'm able to run right by it to pick up a free kill. There's one right here on Rappel. Two drones killed. There's one on north side, Rappel or Balk. Now I have been targeted by Deimos, which can get a little scary. I'm just now learning what this character does. I see him halfway peeking this door with his revolver, and I'm just gonna try to take some pop shots and hopefully not die. Now I did just hear someone hit my mat, and Widow did kill the player that was on my mat because of the kill credit. Break the pot to get some extra vision or just to make some noise. Take some pop shots at some other doorways at height level. And then I'm going to begin kind of patrolling these two main areas. We do see the Deimos popping outside the window. I'm going to Ego Peak once, Ego Peak twice, and Ego Peak three times to finish the second round. Heading into round number four, I'm going to be spawning on the helipad, and I'm going to be looking to fast push this with my own Ayana. Instantly repelling, we're going to be taking the second story here. Now with multiple shields set up, we're not going to be able to push anything just yet. But with 2 minutes and 30 seconds left of this attacking round, I'm willing to take my time. I start punching down the shield, so we're droning. Looking for players, don't see anything just yet, so I take my opportunity. I'm going to be peeking down the long hallway, seeing if any players will not be paying attention. I whiffed a little bit there, think that I knocked the player. I'm going to throw a flash, throw a flash the other direction. I'm not going to panic just yet. Two players are probably very hurt. I'm going to push the left and take that kill. I'm going to fake Ayana clone, and I'm going to be looking to cut the comms and slowly come back here as I hear them starting to Thunderbird heal. I'm currently looking at all the blood on the wall and potentially going for a, a peek, but I decide instead to play a little slow. This time I'm going to reel Ayana to get some info, and now I know that there's two players there. I decide to just take a breather for one second, literally, and sit here on this ledge. Now something I did not notice in the moment is that there is a camera that has been turned on and watching me this entire time. Luckily, the players are not coordinated to take a push on me, but I will see if I notice it in a second. I thought there would potentially be enough room in the drone hole, but I decide not to do it. Taking a look back where we were before, checking the stairs, going left and right, listening for sound cues. They know I'm on the stairs. I finally noticed the camera. I take it out. We're in a two versus three situation. I'm going to clone once more.
Take the headshot there. Take the Thunderbird heals as well. I'm now full HP and a little overshield. I thought I saw a player laying down, but I was wrong. And we are in a two versus two situation. The player decided to push me and whiff their shots and I landed my shot. And I'm gonna hit a head fire into an aim. And we're gonna end off this round number four with 10 kills. Now, obviously, as you can see by the chat, I was a little tilted by my team's performance, but I was going to bring them home no matter what it took. 3-1 attacker side, and we needed one more round to win. And I'm going to go ahead and get off of Ayana and go Thunderbird here instead. Now, Thunderbird is a character that didn't exist when I last played the game, but I, that I have been enjoying a lot. I'm going to start by droning and breaking this same exact cam that I did last time. I'm going to be checking these corners for little peekers. And I'm going to be trying to make sure that this is safe to hop in. After doing a swift search and wanting to be extra safe, I'm going to back up, yellow ping this player, and I'm going to push this window. I'm currently coming to my teammate in Discord to watch my camera for one second as I hop in. And once I made it in safely, I sent them on their way. As you guys can see from the scoreboard, we're currently in a three versus four situation. And my reaction time was a bit slow on that shot. I'm going to throw a nade towards the end of the hall to potentially kill any gadgets. And I start to spam my grid locks deep. A player walks up and my teammate does take the kill. I'm going to throw my last grid lock and we're going to push this together. My teammate is super aggressive, hops over the wall and takes a second kill. And I'm going to start spamming some holes in this room to be able to try to get intel and find this last player. In this last round, I had to do nothing. My teammates absolutely performed, one of them even getting a 4k. As you guys can see, I'm using a lot of operators that can be useful even when I die, and I'm holding a lot of angles for a good amount of time and really listening to sound comms. Those are basically the main things that I'm continuing to do to have good matches. And that is how one of the better one of my ranked games have gone after returning to the game five to six years after I have last played. And I hope that you could get a little bit more into my mindset of how a returning player is trying to play this game. Thank you guys for watching.